I'm on Canal Street in Jericho, and Jericho is a good place for secrets, being tucked away in the no man's land in between Walton Street and the railway line. One of its best kept secrets is also, I think, the most surprising. Anyone who's taken the train north from Oxford will recognise the bell tower behind me, the Italian style campanile of St Barnabas Church, which gives the first clue as to what lies inside. Nothing can prepare the unsuspecting visitor for this. An extraordinary Byzantine-style basilica straight out of Venice. I first came here in the 1980s to listen to concerts of Venetian music, Monteverdi and Gabrielli, conducted by Oxford's then Professor of Music, Dennis Arnold. It's a fabulous acoustic for that, and I remember this heady mix of incense and the full-blown sound of choir and orchestra. Some years later, I went to Venice for the first time, summer after I took finals, with the University Chamber Choir, Schola Cantorum. It was an extraordinary experience, singing that same repertoire, Monteverdi, in the church it was written for at Evensong in St Mark's. But there was another echo of St Barnabas on that trip when I took a boat out across the lagoon to the island of Torcello, a desolate marshy place dominated by a huge ancient basilica full of beautiful Byzantine mosaics. And it turns out that Torcello was indeed part of the architect's inspiration for St Barnabas. And I like to think there's perhaps a parallel in there too between the spiritual refuge for the monks who fled Venice all those centuries ago, and the refuge that St Barnabas provided for the Tractarian movement in the 1860s and 70s. Associated as it is with the music of Venice and its architecture, and with a favourite view from the train going out of Oxford, these are all the reasons why St Barnabas is my choice for Secret Oxford. <laughs>